Hey y'all, so today I have a Target haul for you guys because I know you guys love Target. Y'all know I love Target. I buy a lot of stuff at Target. I'm always at Target. I kind of have a problem with Target, but I love it. And honestly, if you're somebody who can go into Target and buy everything that you need, not any like fun things, I envy you. Seriously, envy you. But unfortunately, I am not one of those people. I will always go straight back to like the toilet paper section and grab what I need. And then once I'm headed back, I stop by the makeup section. I stop by the candle section. I stop by the skincare section. Somehow I end up all the way in the clothing section. Like, it's insane. But it works out for you guys because you get a Target haul. So if you like these videos, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. But yeah, let's just get into the fun things I picked up from Target. Okay, so I picked up some things from Soap and Glory. The first thing is a giant hand food. This is their hand cream and it's seriously some of the best hand lotion in the entire world. I have one for my purse that is a baby size and it is in the Sugar Crush scent which smells like a margarita which is my favorite scent in the world. This one's just the original but does smell really really good and it's seriously a uh, so so good I keep this in my nightstand just in case you know my hands get dry and I'm sitting in bed so I keep this one there and then I also got their heel genius foot cream which is not a very attractive thing to talk about but I have very very dry feet and this stuff actually works um, I put it on before bed put some socks on call it good and then my heels are a little less rough so that's good and then the last thing I picked up from soap and glory is their arch to triumph two-step shaping and highlighting crayon for brows I got the shade taupe and buff and I haven't tried this yet I literally got it yesterday and I don't think I've tried any soap and glory makeup besides like a lip gloss so we'll see I'm actually thinking about doing a full face of first impressions using soap and glory makeup so if you want to see that let me know moving on I picked up some lashes these are the Ardell natural multi-pack and the Demi Wispies what I'm wearing right now these are some of my favorite lashes my ultimate favorite though are the baby Wispies you can get those at Sally's they're like the best seriously so so good these are also really really nice next I got some nail polishes because a girl can never have too many and these are the Sally Hansen miracle gel top coat and nail polish they came in a little set and this is supposed to be gel polish without the UV light so it's supposed to be super super long lasting and amazing and I tried this the other day and I don't know if I just did it too fast or used too much product but it bubbled up on me so bad like it was so so ugly and not attractive I went to work very self-conscious well not really but like whenever I'd look at my nails I'd be like oh that looks bad um and then I took it off immediately when I got home because that's how bad it looked so I don't know if it was just me it was probably just me so I'm gonna try this out again another time and hope for the best next I picked up some new skincare items from Pixie. two were repurchases one is something new and I love Pixie skincare if you haven't tried anything from them you really should they have have really really good products for a very reasonable price and it's actually like good effective skincare so the two repurchases are first the glow tonic if you haven't tried glow tonic you need to this is the best toner it's five percent glycolic acid so it exfoliates the skin gets rid of texture and just you know resurfaces the skin and makes you look good I use this maybe three four times a week because if I use it too much it kind of makes me a little dry but yeah three four times a week perfect then I got their globe mud mask this is supposed to be a 15 minute facial I like to use this right where my pores are around my nose and instead of using a traditional pore strip just because those really aren't good for your skin and this is so cool because you can still see and get that satisfaction of stuff coming out of your pores it's seriously so so cool used a whole one of these up before hence the repurchase so clearly I must like it and the last thing I got from pixie is something I think is new to their line because I don't remember ever seeing this but this is their globe O2 I don't know if that's how it's actually pronounced um, oxygen mask and this is one of those bubbling masks I haven't tried it yet but this is supposed to give you an instant brightening boost it's supposed to revive dull tired skin providing an anti-fatigue effect perfect before a big event or makeup so this would be like a good morning treatment I'm um, sure to use it this morning but I didn't even think about it but that's a pump should be nice actually mine looks like it's been used which is disgusting but it's okay whatever that's like the one bad thing about drugstore makeup is people are just savages and will just use whatever you know do whatever they want and then just put it back on the shelf like freaking just either buy it and return it if you don't like it or just don't touch it 
like stop stop being gross oh dirty I hate it all right one more skincare thing they started selling this brand La Roche Posay I don't know if I'm saying that right and let's be real whenever I hear people say the name I always think of Orange is the New Black I know, so sad. Anyways, but this is a brand that you can find, I think, in France and, you know, other places in Europe. And it's an affordable skincare line that was actually developed by dermatologists and supposed to be, like, really just good skincare at a very affordable price. So I want to say this giant thing of cleanser was, like, $15, which is insane. And this is the one that's good for normal to dry skin. They had, like, a weird sticker on mine, and I was curious to see what it said behind the sticker. And it just said, like, the same thing. But this is their Hydrating Gentle Cleanser, and I've used it a few times and I do really like it. It stays milky, it doesn't foam up, it doesn't leave your skin feeling stripped, um, but it leaves your skin feeling squeaky clean, and I like it. I like it a lot. And the final random thing I picked up from Target is a candle. This is their Peach Prosecco, and I love peach, I love Prosecco, I love them together in a candle. It smells just like summertime to me. It's very light, very fresh. It's not super peachy where you feel like you just walked into like a peach farm, but it just smells like, I don't know, just like a light peach with a little bit of bubbly. It's good stuff. And I also picked up some PJs and stuff from Target because they have my favorite PJs, but they're all in the wash right now, so I can't really show you. But if you ever need some PJs, go to Target. They have the cute little tank top short set for like $15. It's great. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Target that's kind of fun and random. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so I know. And if you want to see another Target haul, maybe next month or so, after I've collected a few more like fun Target things, let me know and I can definitely do that for you guys. But yeah, that is everything for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all!